the MCU has found its Ms. Marvel. While 2020 has admittedly been pretty lousy for most of us, it's actually been a great year for Kamala Khan fans, because not only did players get to step into her shoes in Marvel's Avengers game earlier this year, but now the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series is one step closer to embiggening the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So on Wednesday, Deadline reported that the highly coveted role of Kamala Khan, aka Ms. Marvel, will be played by Canadian newcomer Iman Vellani. And while Vellani is new to the world of Hollywood, she's already making her mark in the world of cinema as part of the Toronto International Film Festival's Next Wave Committee that helps to program and write about films featured in the festival. And while the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series does not have a release date as of yet, Bisha K. Ali is serving as showrunner, and a slew of directors were recently announced, including Bad Boys for Life directing duo Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, Charmin Obay Chinoy, and Mira Menon. But this is just the beginning for Kamala Khan, because as Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige confirmed at last year's D23 Expo, Ms. Marvel will cross over into the Marvel Cinematic Universe films as well. Created in 2014 by writer G. Willow Wilson, artists Adrian Alfona and Jamie McKelvey, and editors Sana Aminat and Stephen Wacker, Kamala Khan is Marvel's first Muslim character to headline her own comic book series. After debuting in a small cameo in Captain Marvel 14 in August 2013, she went on to star in her own ongoing series in 2014. Kamala Khan is a Pakistani-American teenager from Jersey City, New Jersey, who's a serious superhero superfan. During the Inhumanity storyline, she was exposed to Terrigen Mist that activated the latent inhuman genes inside of her and gave her these incredible polymorphing powers. Kamala can twist, stretch, and mold her body into all sorts of shapes and sizes, from embiggening herself to lay the smackdown on her foes, to completely changing her appearance to fool even the likes of Iron Man, her skill set is varied and powerful. She even has an accelerated healing factor because, as we learn in Ms. Marvel 34, technically when she alters her body, she travels in time on a molecular level by borrowing mass from her past and future self. You know, that old Ms. Marvel. With her newly minted superhuman powers, Kamala Khan takes on the mantle of Ms. Marvel in an homage to her superheroic idol Captain Marvel's OG identity to kick butt, take names, and fight for truth and justice. And now, she'll be the first Muslim character to headline her own series in the MCU as well. Now this Ms. Marvel casting news comes hot on the heels of Tatiana Maslany landing the role of She-Hulk and the first trailer for WandaVision, the latter of which may have some serious implications for how and why Kamala Khan gets her powers. Now, as we know, the Inhumans have been a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe since at least Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, a famously not convoluted show that definitely did not get increasingly buckwild as the years went on. Now, Marvel also made an Inhuman series back in 2017 that was... Well, it's legally a television show. But in the wake of Avengers Endgame's time-traveling shenanigans, the upcoming multiversal mayhem of WandaVision and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and of course the potential implications of something like Captain Marvel 2, there are a metric ton of ways that Marvel can contextually explain how Kamala gets her powers while cleaning house a little bit in the process. So similar to our theory about how mutants will enter the Marvel Cinematic Universe, maybe the massive amount of energy released by the multiple Infinity Gauntlet snaps could have activated that latent in human heritage in people all over the world. Perhaps we'll see a post credit scene in Captain Marvel 2 of a renegade Kree agent releasing Terrigen Mists on the people of Earth in an effort to strike back against Carol Danvers and her refusal to debate yon Rog in the marketplace of ideas. But then again, only time will tell. Now the bigger story here is that between Iman Vellani as Ms. Marvel, Tatiana Maslany as She-Hulk, and Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, Canada's kind of looking like one of the world's biggest and most prominent exporters of future Marvel talent. So maybe it's the fine Terrigen mist that roll in off Hudson Bay, or the Uru metal deposits in Black Sturgeon River Provincial Park, or even the Super Soldier Serum that's in each and every Tim bit sold at your local Tim Hortons, but all of this can only mean one thing. Alpha Flight is coming to the MCU confirmed. Don't ask me, I don't make the rules, Canada does. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you think of this casting? What else do you want to see from the upcoming Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series? And how do you think that Kamala Khan will ultimately get her powers? Let's discuss in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure that you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.